see what Kuma's doing. She's inspecting the inspecting the, the room as per usual. What you doing? Hey, Detective Kuma, what did you find? What'd you find? Hi, we're Crystal and Candy of Travel Pockets. We're sisters who are half American and half Japanese, and we love to travel the world in style. We grew up as military brats, so we're used to moving from place to place. That's why we love traveling so much. Dos, tres, cuatro. We post videos weekly and would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Follow us along on all of our adventures. We're in Nashville! Yay! <laughs> I already love it here. <laughs> No, the uh, entrance to the Homewood Suites. It was um, so grand. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, we were like, what the? It looks like a lug like a five-star luxury hotel when you walk into this Homewood Suites. Yeah, Nashville. definitely what, not what I was expecting We weren't expecting at all. that. We're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so we're already like on, you know, cloud nine. We're super happy with this place because we're already like the lobby. Um, the front desk was super, super friendly. friendly. Yeah. And he was like, does your governor know that everybody from Florida is coming to Nashville this weekend? <laughs> like, really? But I was like, I am from Florida, but we're actually traveling from California to going back to Florida. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, it was just so weird because like all these people are from Florida this weekend. Um, must be because uh, Labor Day weekend that we're staying. So I guess everybody from Florida was like, let's go to Nashville. I guess so. It's the place to be right <laughs> now, I guess. I will say that uh, there was a popular show on MTV called Siesta Key. And they took a group trip to Nashville. I don't know how many episodes ago that was, but anyway, they made it, you know, Nashville. They advertised Nashville too, so maybe that's part of the reason why. Is that an old show or is that a recent show? No, it's a recent one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so they, Siesta Key is where they do this MTV show. They base it on the lives of like the young 20 year olds. If you watch The Hill, the Laguna Beach is just like that, mm -hmm. except it's based in Florida now. So when you first walk in, there is this spacious living room. So you get a couch, and um, I forgot to check if this was a bed too. It is, so it's a sofa bed. So if you have six people with you, you could probably fit two people in here. They'll be a little tight, they have to be really intimate. Um, and then they got two double beds in there, which Candy will show you later, um, or queen beds, I believe. Um, and then they have a nice tabletop. I don't know what that is, <laughs> some kind of accent. And a computer desk. Then a TV with drawers underneath, very huge drawers. Um, Candy loves having a TV, so she'd really love this. Full-size fridge, a kitchen, which I was hoping we would have because I wanted to cook my leftover steak or just sear it a little bit on pan. I'm so excited about that. So yeah, full-size fridge uh, with a freezer. And we already put our cooler in there because we've been taking our cooler with us this entire road trip. And come check it out. We also get two bottles of water for being a Hilton member. So make sure you're a Hilton member so you can get some free bottles of water. Mike's Jimmy. In the kitchen, there is a full-size microwave. Again, it's bigger than Candy's microwave and my microwave at our apartments. Uh, we have a little stove with a big top and a little one. Um, got some coffee and paper towels, which these paper towels really come in handy. At our last Homewood Suites, we used that a lot. Dishwasher. So this is all our, most of the dishes that we found out, because when I was looking through the cabinet last time, I was like, where's all the dishes? And Candy was like, look in the dishwasher. And she was like, a lot of them it is in the dishwasher. Um, but I'm sure they have some extra, yep, extra dishes up here, some bowls and plates. There's like a pot and pan. Down there with a toaster, a lamp with two outlets and two USB ports. And this is a big full length mirror we have. I thought I'd like swivel, but it doesn't. So this is always nice to have. So this is kind of cool how they have the room sectioned off. So that's the living room, then they have the bathroom in the middle, and then they have the bedroom over here, which actually has a door. So it could, you know, have kind of privacy if you are sharing spaces with people. So that's cool. So they, um, here is the vanity table or the countertop. Yay, nice lighting. I'm so glad it's not super dark in here. <laughs> I saw in here there was a dryer and they provide Neutrogena products. And of course, me and Crystal love the makeup removers. I wish they would provide two though. Just notice that this right here is loose and about to come out. <laughs> so can't really hang anything except for towels here. And this is very loose too. <laughs> 
I have to really push it in and you can't really move it around much or else it'll just like automatically come out. And then the bathroom is really spacious. They have plenty of towels. We've got two for each of us. And the shower's nice and big. So that's cool. I like that. It's also nice to have the shower and the sink separated. So while one person's taking a shower, the other person could utilize the sink and do their makeup. Cause you know, sometimes if it's in the same room, well, the other person has to wait to get ready, so you kind of like lose time. So the bedroom is really simple. I think these are queen beds? It looks like queen. So two queen beds, oh my goodness, plenty of outlets. All up here, that's nice. Two USB and four um, outlets there. And then the TV, another TV, and again, more drawers, but I like to use these open spaces more so you, so you know when you're leaving, you don't forget something. Sometimes when, if you forget to look in the drawers, you'll forget stuff. So I like it when things are like open like this. And there's actually a closet in here. This actually looks like a, a real room, <laughs> like a real bedroom, not a hotel bedroom. Cause even this closet is kind of like a bedroom closet. There is an iron, an ironing board, an extra, Blankets, I guess if someone's gonna use the pull-out bed or the, front or the pull-out couch, um, there's extra blankets there. And what's different about this room compared to all the hotels we've stayed at so far, we actually don't have a window to an actual outside. We have a window to the courtyard, I guess you call it courtyard of the hotel. So that's actually the lobby down there. We're not outside, but it looks like we're outside. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm just so impressed by how beautiful the entrance was and how grand it was. Love the space here. I know Kuma's gonna love it. We loved the last one we stayed at, well, especially Kuma. So we're really hungry. We've been on the road for eight hours today and I think we're gonna finally be able to settle down and actually cook some food. Kuma's doing. She's inspecting the inspecting the, the room as per usual. What you doing? Hey Detective Kuma, what did you find? What'd you find? Did you anything, find any food? Anything good? Any crumbs? Hmm. Why are you so serious? What'd you find? You look guilty. <laughs> Oh, is it time for you to eat? It's tea? probably for her dinner time. Oh, but is it your dinner time? Let us cook some dinner too, okay? We can all eat together. What do you think? No. She, just, she looks like she's really hungry. You want your dinner now? <laughs> Okie dokie, baby.